Season 4, Episode 4, Mindful Education. Mm. Hey, Connie, let's go. Hello, oh, Connie. Lovely day, isn't it? Ooh. Don't tell me you actually shaved. Oh, wow. You know what? My dad's it must be a bald cap, I'm guessing. But she's clearly not having a great day, considering she didn't even notice. Oh, or doesn't care. Uh-huh. Okay, clearly something else is on her mind. I'm guessing... I mean, this is called mindful education. I'm assuming maybe her schooling. You know, she still has a home life, you know, besides all this gem training and stuff. So something's probably as her stressed. I don't know. Ready, kids? Yes, ma'am. Connie. Yes, ma'am. Steven. Connie. Woo! Initiating fusion dance. Nice. All right. Clean. I see Stevani again. I like the vest on top of the shirt. Oh, they look so cool. Let us begin. I don't think Connie's on her A game, though. I feel like she's going to mess up. Oh! They kind of... Stevani flutters like... Like, they kind of flutter, they flutter like Yoshi in the Mario games. That's cool, though. I don't know why the subtitles keep turning themselves off. Huh? Wait, I'm sorry. I totally missed that when trying to put on the subtitles. My bad. Wait, who was that? Is that like her... Brother? Does she have a brother or something? Steven, Connie, what happened? <laughs> Connie, wait. I beat someone up. Oh, okay. I'm a kid I didn't know. He just bumped into me in the hallway. I was so startled. My training instincts kicked in. I just reacted. I was so embarrassed. I just ran away. But you didn't mean to hurt him. True. Okay, let's hear what you have to say. For a fusion to work, there needs to be balance. An imbalance can cause your fusion to lose touch with reality. Sure. See things that aren't there, and eventually fall apart. Exactly, you have to be like in conscious state of mind or something. If one of you is super stressed and one of you is locked in, it ain't going to be working out. Um, as we saw, <laughs> so... This is actually really soothing. <laughs> Bro, this is some like ASMR type stuff. It's like some meditation. Oh, and we're into a song. This is... Oh, I'm definitely adding this to my nighttime driving <laughs> playlist. This... Definitely such a chill vibe. I love this. It's interesting. She's illustrating, Ill, bleh, illustrating a story with um with uh Ruby and Sapphire here. Like it's happened before. You know, they've been fused for so long. You would imagine they've... I mean, we've already seen an episode where they were really mad with each other. You know, um, when they went to the motel. So, clearly, they've had their problems in the past.
like even in that episode i was just referencing the motel episode where these two were really pissed off at each other by the end of it like they were oh i shouldn't be doing that oopsies uh sorry anyways um by the end of uh that episode like they still you know they still loved each other by the end of the day and then ruby and sapphire still came back together because they still liked each other at the end of the day even being frustrated with each other um now granted it's a whole different situation with stevani right now but you kind of get the idea like you know one of them's in distress like you know connie and steven cared so much about each other like connie would probably care enough to get herself in the right state of mind just so that way she can you know be with steven Wait, can I can I see it? Kind of. Oh, I I know we're not supposed to be defending this or anything. I I, I get that. That was kind of clean though. Like the way she like, man, that was clean. That was kind of that was kind of fire. That was kind of cool, Connie. I I can't lie. <laughs> I mean, I know we're not supposed to be defending this, but it was pretty solid moves. See, at the end of the day they are still there with each other no matter the problems they face steven and connie are still there for each other just like how ruby and sapphire are oh this is so poetic i love it she broke his arm <laughs> It was that bad. Uh, I mean, I kind of feel bad, but like what she did was really freaking cool, man. Like, I'm just saying, if someone did that to well, granted, if they broke my arm, I'd be a little pissed. But if they like did that to me, like that, I'd be like, can you like teach me how you did that? Because this is pretty freaking cool, to be honest. But she did break his arm. That's kind of I would not want my arm broken. So yeah, that that is fair. <laughs> he he gets it. This kid gets it. <laughs> he knows. It's funny. I spent all that time feeling bad instead of doing something. It's like I was trying not to think about it. I wonder if something's troubling him now. Great technique, Stevani. Keep it up. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> yep. Something out oh, bismuth. Yep. I knew there'd be something troubling Stephen. Oh? Oh. That's bad. He is not. I love this. I love this. This is such a therapeutic episode. Also, them having this talk while they're falling is so cool. Ah, oh, dude, Connie's a go for real. She is my favorite character. I I stand by that. There was nothing else you could have done. I don't want to feel this way. You have to. You have to be honest about how bad it feels so you can move on. You'll be fine. Just breathe. Yep. Soft landing? Nice. Okay. I was preparing myself for a really hard landing or a soft landing. I can. 
Wow. That was really good. That was really, really good. And we just ended on a shot, so I'm guessing this will continue in the next episode. But that was really good. Such a therapeutic episode. Like, a, a solid third of this episode was this song. And honestly, I really like that because the song was solid. This, I just, I like this. Because obviously they gave um, Connie in this episode... Uh, just a new reason to not be in the right state of mind. It's because she beat up some kid at school, right? That was just a new plot point we introduced into this episode. But I think the reason we introduced that is so that way we could give an excuse for Steven to think about Bismuth or Jasper or um, even the giant Ruby, um, you know, fusion that got launched out into space, right? Um, that, that's what it felt like. Because clearly we could have addressed just Steven's problems in this episode, but I think it was important to have Connie's problems in this episode. And I like that they presented hers first, that she was in distress first, she had to overcome it first, and then we faced Steven's problems afterwards. Because, you know, Stevani is both of them combined. And so I like that we got to explore all of that instead of just like Steven feeling bad about Bismuth or Jasper or whatever. I like that we got to see Connie also having those problems. And then... Both of them, like Steven trying to help her out in the first half and then Connie helping him out in the second half, they are literally perfect for each other. This was such a well-written therapeutic episode. Incredibly poetic too, especially in the song, like with Garnet singing the song, first of all, you know, because she is a fusion herself. It's just, I don't know, this was a very beautifully crafted episode, I, I would say. It's very artistic and really hits the story points like really. This was just so good. This was so good. I really, really like this. This might honestly be one of my favorite episodes because as you guys know, like Connie is or most likely is my favorite character in the show. It's hard to say. There's so many, right? And her like presence in this episode was so top tier this honestly might be one of my favorite episodes of the entire show this was brilliant and the way it ended we didn't even end on an iris shot so i feel like this is we're going to be continuing this like next episode maybe i, I don't know this is just wonderful i thoroughly enjoyed this but uh yeah anyways i'll see you Guys, in the next one, I suppose. I, don't, I think I covered everything. I, I think I covered most of it throughout the episode, to be honest, instead of in the post-episode discussion. But, uh, yeah, also just the visuals. Like I said, this episode is very artistic, not just in its storytelling, but its music, obviously, and also just its art style itself, like visual arts. It was just beautiful to look at. So, yeah, all around, great stuff. I'm going to stop talking. I feel like I'm repeating points at this point. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.